Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for another edition of Let's Talk Chelsea. Hope you're all doing well and keeping safe on this Tuesday. Of course, got the massive game against Leicester tonight in the Premier League and have my rational perspective following that game. But today in Let's Talk Chelsea, speaking about Mason Mount being officially named as Chelsea's player of the season, voted for by the fans and also some big transfer news and speculation surrounding strikers. Harry Kane wanting to leave Spurs how realistic, unrealistic is that move for Chelsea this summer and also Romelu Lukaku from Inter Milan. Going to get into all that stuff and more in today's episode. Before we do, want to ask you guys, please hit that like button if you're enjoying the content because it helps new people find the channel. And if you want more Chelsea content, hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads on the channel. Also want to say a massive thank you to Lucid FC for sponsoring Let's Talk Chelsea in 2021. Lucid is a fashion label founded by Twins Bet and Chet Dehart in 2010, reflecting a deeply British American heritage and inspired by both cultures. Their design approach also reflects their interest in fashion history, form and function, and the brand has become known for its playful modern heritage aesthetic. And there's also a permanent discount code you guys can use. Using that code CFC gets you $15 off or £12 discount at checkout. Link in the description box below. So help support the guys who support this channel. And it's not only that to speak about with Lucid today because we have a special giveaway finally and as you can probably see the shirt i'm wearing here is a special limited edition son of chelsea and lucid fc shirt that we'll be giving away in the coming weeks so here is the information regarding the giveaway lucid and son of chelsea collaborating we are giving back to offer any of our followers and subscribers the chance to own an exclusive one of our son of chelsea and lucid fc collaborative t-shirt a part of our ongoing partnership designed together the twins and myself work the best way to represent the 1970 classic FA Cup final shirt from Chelsea. I really love this design. Um, as I say, I was, I was trying to model it on one of my favorite shirts that I'm sure you guys have, have seen me with the Osgood uh, 1970 FA Cup shirt. I love the simplicity of it, so I wanted to recreate something. So here is how you can potentially win this limited edition Son of Chelsea and Lucid shirt. Want to win a shirt? Of course you do. Simply like, subscribe and comment on the video to enter. We will have the giveaway open until the Champions League final on the 29th of May. The winner will be announced in Let's Talk Chelsea next week and directly in private message so simply enter over the next 14 days for your chance to win subscribe like and comment on this video you can comment up to five times in one post and as well you must be subscribed to son of chelsea but let's get into the news i think we have to start with the big news from chelsea today announcing that mason mount has been voted as the men's player of the season by fans um i voted for mason mount um and it was i think quite overwhelming i can assume based on what i saw it's the right decision. It's the right call. I mean, it's been quite obvious for several months now that Mason Mount was going to be Chelsea's player of the season. I do want to give an honourable mention to Edward Mendy, who I think is the only other realistic candidate for this uh, award this season. I think he has unequivocally been the best signing we made last summer. I think the way he's improved such a key area of the pitch, and I think you could make a very strong argument for him being player of the season. But I just think Mason Mount, as seen by, by Squawker here, they presented this with uh, the news today Mason Mount for Chelsea in the Premier League this season joint most goals most chances created most big chances created most touches most passes in the opposition half second most tackle joint second most assist Chelsea's men's player of the year I think it's absolutely spot on that Mason is the player of the year um, I did a big thread on my Twitter today sort of explaining why I personally think he is but you know you look at the maturity and consistency for a player of his age has just been extraordinary he has become essential to multiple coaches not only at club level you think about the way he was essential obviously for Frank last season and at the start of this season playing sort of as a number eight that was a really good position for him but then you think about Thomas Tuchel coming in and people doubting whether Mason would still be a guaranteed starter and absolutely it's the quality of the player he's become essential to Tuchel just like he did for Lampard and as well for Gareth Southgate I think at the Euros he's going to be a key player there he's not only an extraordinary talent on the pitch I think off the pitch he's such a great representation of, of Chelsea Football Club I think he's such a lovable guy and I think the way he He's dealt with adversity, continues to improve. He's just an elite player, I think he is. And, and I think he's only going to get better and better. Um, and he, he, he sets so high standards for himself that, you know, even games like the previous two where he maybe hasn't 
reach those top levels. He's still one of Chelsea's best performers. Um, so Mason absolutely deserves this award. Give me your opinions on Mason Mount becoming Chelsea's player of the season for 2020-21 in the comments below. But let's get to the transfer news. And I couldn't really, even though I personally don't think this is realistic at all, I can't see Harry Kane signing for Chelsea this summer. I just can't see it happening. Luka Modric, we can go back to that. I remember speaking about Luka Modric last year. I think there was an article done about it, or at least his book. He was speaking about the potential move to Chelsea, how close it got, but Daniel Levy stepping in and making sure it didn't happen. So we've been here before with Chelsea going in for a Tottenham player and it not working out. Um, I just can't see it happening. I think the the way Kane maybe is as, as a professional, I think would want to leave Spurs on better terms given everything he's done at that club. And um, I also just think there's another option Chelsea could go for that actually could be cheaper this summer and actually could be a perfect option for us. Um, but of course, all the news is breaking last night and this has been coming for several months and I'm not entirely surprised. Harry Kane tells Tottenham he wants to leave the club this summer. This is from Matt Law in the Telegraph, but I know Sky Sports was reporting this as well as many other outlets. And Magod Delaney from the Independent tweeted about this last night regarding Chelsea and Harry Kane. A tricky situation for Kane is that Chelsea are the English club most willing or able to pay, but it's the most politically difficult and he'd obviously prefer to leave on good terms. I just cannot see it happening um i think of course who wouldn't want harry kane i think he is close to the perfect option i think whoever gets him if he was to leave spurs this summer i think you're giving yourself an incredible opportunity to win the premier league um I, he's just an astonishing forward he is and he's been for consistently now since what 2014 he has been banging in the goals and um, this year in particular you've seen the way he's dropped deeper the, the relationship between him and son which has always been quite strong but i think this year you've really seen them break records and the way he's at, his all-round game is just exceptional but his finishing ability too um, and i think he needs to make this move personally for his career i think it says a lot you know I've, i'm surprised he's been at spurs this long um, because he's clearly someone who has given so much to spurs hasn't got much back, you know, continues to be one of the best players in the Premier League. I don't think you can have a go at him for Tottenham's failures. I think he's done all we could and I think he deserves to win some silverware. He's that good a forward. Now, absolutely, if Chelsea could make the deal happen this summer, then absolutely bring Harry Kane to Chelsea um, because this is a world-class forward, one of the best in Europe, one of the best forwards in world football. I just can't see it happening. I think there's too many obstacles and I think it's more likely he goes to Man City or Man United. But one player that I think is more realistic Realistic that's been touted for, for much longer is Romelu Lukaku from Inter Milan. This comes from sources out in Italy uh, claiming that with the news that Antonio Conte could leave Inter Milan this summer, Lukaku to Chelsea could happen, even claiming that Chelsea have been in touch with Lukaku's agent, which isn't Mino Raiola anymore in, in relation to Erling Haaland. Um, it seems like there's a lot of things with many transfers like, you know, domino effect. Um, Antonio Conte leaving, who is a combustible figure, as Chelsea know very well, um, could open the door because the relationship between Conte and Lukaku is so strong. Conte was so desperate for Chelsea to sign Lukaku in the summer of 2017. That never happened. And that was very much one of those incidents that turned things sour at Stamford Bridge for Antonio Conte before inevitably leaving uh, the next summer. Um, but also, I think the financial situation with Inter is a little bit interesting. If they get Get new financial investment that could keep Lukaku. If they don't, they may need to sell Lukaku or some of their big players to get money, even though they've just won the Scudetto and are in a really strong place in Serie A. I think Romelu Lukaku for me is my number one choice. Um, I just think that Holland, um, people talk about sort of the age of both of these players, and, and I understand why you'd want Holland. He is a generational talent, and I hate using that term, but I think it is very appropriate for earning Holland given his freakishly good ability to score at his age. But I think about the time you'd get these players, the time of, say, Kane, Lukaku, or Holland. I actually potentially think it could be similar for all of them because I think with Raola as his agent, I think Holland you never know what could happen you know he may be at Chelsea banging a load of goals but could be here for, for the exact same time that Lukaku could despite his age um, and I think there'd never be that concern with Lukaku that he'd come to Chelsea and want to go somewhere else after that I think there would be an understanding given his age the contract the massive contract to move that would probably be his last massive move at his age unless he goes into his you know 30s and, and excels at that too I think that there'd be an understanding that this would be Lukaku's prime move you know he'd be very much focused on Chelsea which is a constant conversation Conversation we're having at the moment in terms of do Chelsea see do sorry do players see Chelsea as their big destination or do they see as it see it as a stepping stone to somewhere else and that's what you want players who are committed to Chelsea we know the narrative surrounding Lukaku is just so perfect it is you know the it's almost cinematic you know in, in terms of a script of the narrative the cycle of Lukaku being at Chelsea as a young player leaving because of Jose Mourinho and, and all of that going elsewhere scoring goals at Everton scoring goals at Man United going to Inter Milan 
winning the Scudetto there, having an amazing career, turning into one of the best forwards in world football and then returning to Chelsea as the player we desperately need. Of course, you know, as a, as a film lover myself, that just makes so much sense. But it's not just that. I think it's the goal scoring ability. 29 goals in 43 appearances this season, leading into to their first title in some time. But we know in the Premier League, he's got such an amazing record scoring goals here. So there's no doubt in my mind that he comes back to the league where he scored 113 goals in 252 appearances before and does similar for Chelsea as an even better forward. I think the way he's developed his all round game, which maybe you could have had doubts with before. Um, has made him such an all-round forward too. Um, I just don't buy this idea that Chelsea don't need a number nine. Um, I've seen enough now. I've seen enough of Timo Werner. I've seen enough of Kai Havertz, who sure has excelled in recent weeks. Um, if Chelsea are going to let Tammy Abraham go, you need to be upgrading seriously. If you're not, I think we're in serious trouble next year, or at least you're running the risk of, of being in a situation like we have been before, where Tammy goes somewhere else and scores a lot of goals, and we're left still with Timo Werner struggling to find the back of the net. Um, and Chelsea, if we want to win the Premier League title, we need to improve that area drastically. Um, so I think if Lukaku, for me, his all-round game, his creativity with Lotaro Martinez, I just go and watch some of his performances this season, in particular one of his best against AC Milan uh, a few months ago, was just absolutely extraordinary. Um, he's got so much pace to the idea that we'd be lacking speed in our front three in transition is silly too um, and just technically he's just I think superb at this point physically I mean I mean, you think about Reese James getting robbed of so many assists if Lukaku's there I think Reese James it is going to be one of our top creators next season I just think he will be um, and I just think this is just the obvious answer yes and sometimes as I say on this channel it's not always about signing the obvious answer um, but in terms of really upgrading that area of the pitch for us I think it is Lukaku, Holland or Kane and I think Lukaku for me, if it is possible, I think we need to get it done because I'd have so much more confidence in us next season in a title challenge. I think Lukaku would take us beyond the slog for Champions League football. I think we would massively improve um, in the final third. Yes, there is the argument around creativity that there's some people who have argued that even if we were to get, say, a Lukaku, well, the problem is creating chances. I personally disagree because I look at the amount of big chances Timo Werner has missed. Statistically, I think under Lampard last season, but also under Tuchel since he's arrived, the amount of big chances we've created. I just think the finishing could be so much better from Chelsea. I just don't buy that argument. Yes, we've looked a little bit toothless, but... Yeah. With a striker like Lukaku, who's, who would open up space for other players, I think, within our team, linking up with, say, Christian Pulisic and Mason Mount, even, say, Hakim Ziyech, you know, and other players too in our team, I think the ability of someone like in the past we've seen Diego Costa, I think it's hard to just say we're not creating at the moment because, say, our forwards don't have, like Timo Werner doesn't have the best all-round game, that Lukaku, it would just be similar. I disagree on that. I think he's just an exceptional forward. So for me... In terms of the striker, I think it's Lukaku. I think it is. If, if we can get Romelu Lukaku, that is the best signing you could get for me. Um, I think Harry Kane, I know a lot of people, of course, that's you, you get Harry Kane, that's an incredible signing in terms of the Premier League. But the great thing about Lukaku, say, over Erling Haaland, is I don't think there's any concern about him coming back to the Premier League. He's Amazon Prime in terms of his career. Now he is the ready-made forward to come back to Chelsea and potentially lead us to a serious Premier League title charge next season. And that's what Chelsea apparently want from Thomas Tuchel. And I'm sure that's what Tuchel wants too. Um, so those are my opinions on, on Romelu Lukaku. I think Harry Kane is unrealistic, unfortunately, even though I think he's an extraordinary forward. Don't get me wrong. That's not why I'm dismissing that link. I think it would be an incredible move. And I'm sure all of you guys, I think majority of you guys would say any of these forwards would be amazing signings for Chelsea and I think would massively improve our finishing which has been at times absolutely horrendous there's no getting around it um, so we need to improve that if we want to just go beyond the slog for Champions League football so those are my thoughts on a striker situation of course talking about Mason Mount as player of the season give me your thoughts on what I said in today's video in the comments below hit that like button hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the uploads on the channel have a great day and I'll see you again